Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have done this warm and glowy makeup look for you guys. I've been loving a lot of brown colours lately, so I thought I'd show you how I create this amazing look for you. You can wear it um, this season, or if you really like bold colours like me, you can wear it any season you like. Um, I'm going to start off with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I have already done my base and my brows. First up, I'm going to start off with the favourite palette by Jaclyn Hill. And I'm going to use the shade Phuket, so a transition colour. And I'm going to use a soft fluffy brush. Next up, I'm going to use the Saharain number no. 2 palette by Juvia's Place. This palette is amazing. It's so pigmented. It literally little goes a long way. So I'm going to start off with a very warm brown and add that to the crease line and just blend it in. Then I'm going to dip into the dark brown shade and then add that to the crease line as well to just add a bit more deepness. Then I'm going to dip back into that warm transition shade that I've used before and just go back and blend some more in. Next up I'm using a brown pencil by YSL in the shade 2 which is like a dark brown and I'm going to line the top lash line, lining the top lash line. And I just use my fingers to just stretch so it makes it easier to like see where you're applying it. I'm going to do that same on the other eye. And I'm going to use a small brush and dip back into that dark brown shade and I'm going to go back into that waterline and just blend it out smog it out a little bit you can stretch the eyelid if you find it easier to blend but this is the way I like to do it I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And I'm going to use that small uh, fluffy brush and just blend a bit more. Just smoke it out a bit more. Then I'm going to dip back into that dark shade and add a bit more to intensify the line. Then I'm going to use that really shimmery peachy color it looks very gold and peachy it's so pigmented so i'm going to use like a flat brush and just press it in and then i'm going to go back in with the fluffy brush and just blend out the crease using it under the waterline and using that same small brush again going back in with the warmer brown and using it under the waterline and using that same small brush again Then I'm dipping back into that dark warm brown and just going back into the waterline. Same brown eye pencil and going into the waterline. Then I'm using the Curler Mascara by YSL and just applying to the lashes. This just lifts up your lashes as well. This mascara is really good if you wanted to use in the days if you don't want to use lashes. So it does give you the length and separates your lashes because it's got like a nice comb to it. And it smells like coconuts as well, so that's a plus. Then 
So I'm going to apply the Miami Mink Lashes and then I'm going to go back in with the curl of mascara and apply some at the bottom lashes. And you can apply some powder under the eye, under the eye if you wanted to but I haven't. I'm just going to do this quickly. And then I go back in with a spoolie to separate the lashes. Then I'm going to use the Revolution Makeup Concealer Palette in the medium dark shade. And then I'm going to dip in a concealer brush and mix two colours. And I'm going to use that to highlight and contour. I'm just going to go under the eye and draw a triangle kind of shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, just because it's going to be all blended in anyway. So. Usually I contour for when I do like full glam looks and every day I really don't. I'm going to go in with the warmer shades. I'm going to mix the two warm and dark browns and I'm going to use a different brush and use that to contour. I'm just going to add more definition. Yeah, I'm going to apply some under the jawline to just slim up. I find this cream a little bit too... It's a little bit hard to work with so I keep adding some more in and I'm going to use a dampen beauty um, sponge around the highlighted areas and just blend And set it with the hula bronzer. So I have blended out the contour bit, and now I'm gonna go and set it with the hula um, bronzer by Benefit. And I'm just gonna use a brush that they have just set all the contoured areas so I have blended out the contour bit and now I'm gonna go and set it with the Hoola um, bronzer by Benefit and I'm just gonna use a brush that they have just set all the contoured areas I feel like I'm gonna add some more warmer shade to it so just to warm up the skin and I like using the two um, warm shades and I mix it up and I'm going to use the contour brush by Rare Techniques, as you've seen in my previous videos. And I'm going to use NYX Bronzed Blusher. And apply it with my favourite rose gold Zoeva brush, but it's so fluffy. And then I'm going to use a souffle de cut in number two to buff out any lines and also set the um, contoured um, highlighted areas. I feel like it gives a nicer finish as well and the powder is so fine that it doesn't look heavy at all it looks more radiant as well so it's got a bit of loose radiant plus it sets everything really nicely
and then I'm going to use my Urban Decay setting spray in D Slick to set everything and mattify and hold everything in all day. I'm just going to let that dry for a bit and then I'm going to use a Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette. I'm using the Seashells highlighter and I'm just going to add that on to the nose areas and the highlight everywhere. I mean, look at the highlight, it's already popping. I'm using the lip liner by NYX in the shade Vintage Retro. I think I already lined my lips and I forgot um, and I skipped it, but you can see I'm just lining my lips and I'm just filling it a little bit. And I'm gonna use Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in a matte. Um, it's in the shade Chocolate Wasted. And the color is just so pigmented. This is my first time trying the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick and I am already in love with the colour and it goes on so nicely as well and I forgot to add some highlight in the corner so I'm going to go back in with a seashells highlighter by Huda and add that in the middle of the corners of my tear duct. Here you go, here's the finished look and I've just added a scarf by Stravis, I believe that's how you say it. Um, and just, yep, finished my look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Um, hopefully we'll be doing videos every week. And yeah, keep updated um, by checking out my Instagram. That's where I keep you posted and I update all the time. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, bye.